Good morning! Good morning, my lovely readers and writers! How are you today? I hope you are doing well. I am very happy today because it's weekend. And today is Thursday. So tomorrow and after tomorrow, you can enjoy your time. You can have some fun, everyone, and something else. Maybe Ramadan will be after tomorrow. So who's going to fast this year? Try to fast half a day. You can do it. So I want you to be ready for Ramadan. And please help your mom, listen to her, and also pray with your dad. Because as you know, Ramadan is a holy month. And it will be great to read Quran during Ramadan. So, now let's start the lesson of today. And before starting the lesson... Let's read the day and date. I need your help, everyone. I need someone to help me to say the day and date. So, everyone, what's the day? Thursday. Well done. And what's the date? April 23, 2020. Well done, everyone. Now, I want you to... Look at the title of the lesson. Look at the title and tell me what do you see or look at the picture. So what do you see everyone? I see a boy writing. A boy writing. And look at the title of the lesson. Let's read the title together. Personal Narrative. Personal Narrative. It seems familiar, right? Yeah. Why? We took this before. Today, we are going to continue the lesson we have started before about personal narrative. In the previous lessons, we brainstormed ideas and we organized and planned these ideas. And today, we are going to do something different. That's why I want you to listen carefully and pay attention. So, I want everyone to stand up, put your hands in the air, and clap your hands five times and shout, it's English class. So can we do this together? Yes. Well done. Go ahead. Put your hands in the air. Clap your hands five times. One, two, three, four, five. And shout. It's English class. It's English class. So I want you everyone to use your background knowledge to review the things that you have already known about personal narrative so what do you know about personal narrative what does a personal narrative mean who can help me to answer this question take your time everyone what does a personal narrative mean I know what does a personal narrative mean. It means to write a story that happened to me. So everyone, to write a personal narrative means to write about something that happened to you. So do you remember the song that we sang last time together in the previous lesson? So everyone, let's Sing the song together. 
I want you to sing along with me. Who will help me? Let's get started. I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. It's my personal narrative. It's my own history. Let's sing it one more time. I have a special story. So, this story is a special story and everyone it tells something about you. So, you're going to write about something that happened to you. So, it tells something that happened to you. It's my personal narrative. It's my own history. So, everyone, you got it? So, let me say something. This type, or we use this type of writing to write a story that tells something that happened to you. Okay, everyone? So, I want you to listen carefully to what I am going to say. So, everyone, if you want to record or let me say write any nice memory that happened to you, you can use this type of writing, personal narrative. So, everyone, so, we had have a lot of nice memories at school. Do you remember the UAE National Day celebration? Do you remember our first morning assembly? And what else? So, I'm going to show you a picture. So, who can remember this picture, everyone? What happened in this day? This was our first morning assembly. And it was a great day. Do you remember, everyone? So, this is something that you can write about. This is something that happened to you and you can write about it. So, one more time, if you want to write about something that happened to you, you should use personal narrative. So, everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to revise your narrative writing. So, remember, in the last or in the previous lessons, we have learned how to brainstorm ideas and also how to organize and plan these ideas. And today, we will learn how to revise your writing. So, are you ready, everyone? Are you ready to start? Yes! Well done! So, let's get started and... I have two videos. We are going to watch them together. So let's go ahead. Writing a Personal Narrative, Episode 7 Editing. A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You write about something that has happened to you. Editing is making our writing look better. We fix all of the mistakes we may have made in our first drafts. We do this to make sure other people can read and understand our stories. That way, we can publish and share our hard work with others. When we edit, we check our spelling, our punctuation, and our capitalization. To edit our spelling, we make sure we spelled sight words correctly. 
that we used all of the word parts we know and that we stretched out all of the sounds and words as best as we could. Your spelling doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to use what you already know, fix any silly mistakes you made, and try your best. Here is a sentence from my story about when I got a new dog. It says, first, my sweet mom came to my room to talk to me. Do you see a sight word that I spelled incorrectly? Hmm, my is a sight word, it's spelled right. Two is a sight word, it's correct. How about the word me? Is it spelled right? Oh yeah, me is just M-E, much better. Here's my next sentence. She told me since I had gotten good grades at school, I could get a dog. Do you see any places where I didn't use word parts correctly? Oh, now I remember learning that O-O says uh or oo. So good is probably spelled G-O-O-D. And school is probably spelled with an O-O too. That looks right. Here is my next sentence. It says, I was so excited I jumped super high up in the air. Do you see a word that I could stretch out even more? Hmm. How about excited? I wrote some of the sounds I heard, but I think I could stretch it out more. X I T. Did. That's a better guess. Maybe I can look in a dictionary later if I want to see if I'm right. Next, we are going to edit punctuation. Punctuation marks are symbols that go at the ends of sentences, like periods, question marks, and exclamation points. When I edit my punctuation, I have to make sure that I have punctuation marks in all of the right places. I also need to make sure that I use the correct kind of punctuation. Here is my next sentence. It says, Then we got in the car to drive to the store. I couldn't wait. Do you see anywhere I put a punctuation mark in the wrong place? Hmm. I put one at the end of the first line, but I guess I don't need one there. That sentence isn't over yet. It continues on to the next line. Do you see a place where I forgot to put a punctuation mark? Oh, yeah, my last sentence needs one. I'm going to put an exclamation point since I was really, really excited. My next page says, when we pulled up, I saw that the store had a lot of dogs that needed to be adopted. Do you think the sentence needs a question mark? No, that's not a question. It's a statement. So I'll change it to a period. Much better. Last, we are going to edit our capitalization. We will check to make sure we always capitalize the word I and the first letter of the first word of every sentence and specific names of people, places, or things. All of the other letters will almost always be lowercase. This page says, when we got to the store, I looked at all of the dogs. They were all so cute. Do you see a place where I made a mistake? Oh yeah, the word I should always be capitalized. My next sentence says, All of the sudden, one came up and licked my foot. He was white and fluffy and so adorable. What mistake did I make this time? Oh, right, I need to use a capital letter for the first word of every sentence. But all of my other letters will stay lowercase. My last sentence says, I decided he was the dog for me. Do you see a mistake I made? Hmm. I probably shouldn't have capitalized the word dog. Dog isn't his name. I would only use an uppercase letter if I wrote his real name, like I decided Fluffy was the dog for me. 
That's it. Thanks for helping me edit my personal narrative. Check out... Writing a personal narrative. Episode 6. Revising your story. A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You can write about something that has happened to you. When we revise, we make sure our writing makes sense. We also make changes to make our writing sound even better before we publish it. There are several different ways you can revise your writing. You can add words and sentences to add detail. You can remove words that are unnecessary or that don't make sense. And you can change words to make your story more interesting. When you add words, you can add adjectives, which describe the people, places, and things in your story. You can add adverbs, which describe the actions or verbs in your story. Or you can add more details about things that happen. Here's part of my personal narrative I wrote about getting a dog. It says, first, my mom came to my room to talk to me. She told me since I had gotten good grades at school, I could get a dog. I was so excited, I jumped up in the air. First, I'm going to add an adjective. Hmm, I'm going to write the word sweet to describe my mom. Next, I'm going to add an adverb. I'm going to write super high to describe how I jumped. Last, I'm going to add some more details. I'm going to write, you're the best, I screamed. Now the reader can imagine what happened in my story even better. Next, I'm going to remove some words. I can think, what doesn't make sense? And what isn't important to my story to help me decide what to take out? My next page says, then we got in the car to drive to the store in the car. I couldn't wait. When we pulled up, I saw that the store had a lot of dogs that needed to be adopted. The store was green. Did you hear anything that didn't make sense? Oh, yeah, I can take out in the car because I already said that once. Did you hear anything that wasn't important? Hmm. I guess the store was green isn't really important. It doesn't have anything to do with me getting a dog. Last, I'm going to see if there are any words I can change. I can ask myself, what doesn't make sense? If I used a word that doesn't make sense, I can change it. I can also change any boring words I use to more interesting words. Here's my next page. It says, when we got to the store, I looked at all of the dogs. They were all so cute. All of a sudden, one come up and licked my foot. He was white and fluffy and so adorable. I decided he was the dog for me. Did you hear a word that didn't make sense? Oh, when I said one come up, I should have said one came up since it happened in the past. That sounds much better. How about a boring word that I could change? Hmm, I think I'm going to change looked into gazed. Those words sort of mean the same thing, but gazed sounds way more interesting. That's it. Thanks for helping me revise my writing. So everyone, after watching the video, we got to know that what we are going to do today is to revise our writing, to revise what we wrote before. Because as you can remember, in the previous lessons, we brainstormed ideas and after that, we planned and organized these ideas and today we are going to revise them and to check our spelling and grammatical mistakes capitalization
spaces between the words, punctuation. For example, you need to start your sentence with a capital letter and to end your sentence with a period. So there's a lot of things you need to check. And this is what we are going to do today. So I want you everyone to get the notebook or the papers that you used before to write about your personal narrative because together we are going to revise and edit our writing. Also, we are going to check some points. Let's read them together. Does the narrative tell when and where the story happened? So you should mention the setting of the story. Does the narrative have a beginning, middle and an end? Is the topic of the narrative clear? So if I read, I can understand what you are talking about. Are events told in the order they happened? For example, you used the transition words such as first, next, then, last are sequence words used to help order the events. Does the narrative have good details and ideas? Because I, as I said to you so far, your story should have or should include a lot of details and ideas. So, as I said to you so far, you are going to bring the notebook or the paper you used in the previous lesson or in the previous writing lesson because we are going to revise and edit our narrative writing. So finally everyone, circle the correct sentences about Revising narrative writing. 1. Add details and information to make the message clearer. You look for and correct mistakes in spelling, punctuation, capitalization and grammar. Or you remove unnecessary words or ideas that don't keep to the topic of the story. So you're going to choose two of them. Finally, everyone, please don't forget to upload a picture or a video of your uh, work in Class Dojo Portfolio. And have a nice weekend!